So maybe you want to know about inspections. What should you expect? Well, you're going to do them quickly after you sign an agreement of sale, likely in the first 10 days. You're definitely going to want to do a home inspection, and that covers top to bottom, uh, you know, every, anything visible. Um, you're going to likely want to do a radon test unless there's some reason that you are certain that the radon is fine. Uh, radon does change from time to time. We had a little earthquake here, so maybe they tested it three years ago. And I don't actually remember when the earthquake was, but regardless, you would want to make sure nothing's changed. Termites. Good to have a termite inspection. Uh, money well spent. Then you, uh, if the home has stucco, strongly, strongly encourage a stucco inspection. They actually measure the moisture. Uh, they put, put little holes in the, in the stucco and put a moisture meter in there and they can feel the give of the wood behind it and they can measure the moisture and their you know, red flags when they exceed a certain amount. Uh, again, you should do that because if you don't and you find you had a problem, it's a, it's a lot of money. What about septic? Mm, absolutely, you want to test that. Um, if the if the house hasn't been occupied for um, you know for a while, you're going to want to do a load test. Or if you're bringing a much larger number of people than had lived there, you want to they dose the system with a lot of water just to make sure that it can handle it. Test the well. You, don't, you want to know that the quality is okay and that the water pressure, that it, it recharges sufficiently. Um, a lot of older homes, there are lines going from the street to the house, and you might want to test that as well. They can put a little television camera in there. So uh, what does it cost? I can go over that individually, but um, you know, you're going to have to set aside some money. That comes out early in this process. You're going to pay for it, not at settlement, but right when you meet the inspector. And uh, as I said, you want to get it done early uh, because there's usually a contingency period. And uh, if you have any questions about inspections that I didn't cover, give me a call. Home inspections are intended to find uh, safety and structural issues. Now, most inspectors that, you know, the roof will get a thorough looking over, the basement, these are big items and areas. Um, they can't see behind walls, uh, but they can give you a pretty darn good estimation of what's wrong. You might be alarmed when you see that your first inspection report. It tends to be full of lots of little details, but uh, truly the intent is to find those things that are, you know, concerns of a major sort. It's not about cosmetics, uh, it's not about caulk, but um, I just caution you not to be alarmed because if you haven't seen one, it can be uh, sometimes daunting. So uh, expect to be there for about three hours. I mean, I don't know what size house, obviously. There are big houses, little houses, but uh, that would be a, an average. And um, the inspector will likely give you the report that same day or at the latest the next day. And then you work with your realtor to make a list of the things that uh, you would ask the seller to fix. Any questions? Give me a call.